guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my very first video of 2016 so today I have this really really simple look this is my everyday makeup my no makeup makeup look my really simple kind of like I woke up like this look um, it might be a little too much for some people it might be too little for other people but um, it's my way of doing it um, it's very personal but I have narrowed down to five steps that you can follow so it can um, be easy for you to narrow it down and see the products that you actually need and how much time do you want to spend doing your makeup and really, I mean, how many products you need because you really don't need everything that I use. This is my way of doing it. I mean, if you do a little search online and you do put no makeup makeup and then you'll see like <laughs> cake face and then you see like <laughs> like mascara so it's it, you have both ends so you just have to figure out what you like because that's really what I the biggest issue I see every day with women everybody comes and they're like what do you recommend for me what do you and I'm like I, I don't know who you are I don't know how much time you have I don't know what you like so it's just narrowed down to narrow narrowing that's a hard one that's a really hard one it's just taking it down to what you like to what you feel comfortable with taking it down to what it's you're gonna look at yourself in the mirror and be like yes I like so if it's blue lipstick with you know crazy red hair then go ahead and do that because it doesn't matter how much you know I can tell you or anybody else can tell you that you know a soft pink lip and a nude hair nude hair and you know perfect like blonde hair it's gonna make you feel pretty or make you look pretty because you're gonna look at yourself in the mirror and be like no I need my blue lipstick so that's the way makeup works because that's the way it works so um, I hope this five steps help you and um, here it is number one clean and prep skin first of all I am not an esthetician these are very very general skincare steps first you have to take off your makeup you cannot go to sleep with your makeup on Second, cleanser and toner. This is where it gets personal. You have to find the products that work for your skin type. I have oily to combination skin, so these are the products that I'm using right now. And don't worry, you'll have a full list of products down in the description. But nowadays you have products for anything and everything. So for example, if you have more of a dry skin, then find cleanser that is gentle and a toner that gives you that extra hydration. Third, moisturize. Face and eyes. Wait, stop! Make sure your hands are clean. Seriously, you have to wash your hands before you start any of this. Skincare is a very, very important step. Spending a little bit of time on your skin is going to make your makeup look a hundred times better. Now, because this is your everyday makeup, this is your running around, running errands, you need to protect your skin. This is the most important step. Sunscreen. This one is done. This one is from Kiehl's. It's one of my favorites, but I have literally like one application left. But I can't stress it enough, the sun will destroy your skin. Number two, even skin. I love this foundation. I'm obsessed with it. I can't get enough of it. But it might be too much coverage for you. So instead, you can use anything that would even out your skin tone. So a tinted moisturizer, a BB cream, a CC cream, any of those that would give you just an even complexion. Also, applying the product with your hands will give you less coverage. And just like the skincare products, certain textures work better with certain skin types. For concealer if you don't need it you don't have to use it I have very dark circles so I like to use it and I like to use more than I should so don't judge me I really like the sponge for the concealer I've concealer since when do I have a lift <laughs> anyways so it picks up any excess and it smooths everything out now to set everything so it doesn't move I'm using a translucent powder now remember I said I had oily skin so I need this step but if you have more of a dry skin you can probably skip this step or use a lot less but for me, I mean, even my eyelids are oily, so I have to set them with a little bit of powder. So now your skin is perfectly even, but look how weird it looks. We're looking a little dead. Which brings me to number three. Your skin needs a little color. Bronzer is going to bring back that natural shadows in your face. It's going to give you warmth. And I like to use a bigger brush, and I like to be not as precise as I usually am. And my forehead always, because I have a big forehead. Now you can stop here and skip to the next step, but I like a little bit more. I like the rosy cheeks. I apply the blush in the uh, apples of my cheeks, then blend them up. And then if you start looking like a doll, you can always blend it with a powder brush. Now brows. Brows are part of your face, not your eyes, in my opinion. 
So for my everyday look, I probably won't even color them that much, but I wanted to show you what I would do because most people don't have a full brow. I mean, I once heard that brows are 30% of your expression. I don't know if it's true, but that's pretty high up there. So number four, your eyes. This is a step that I don't skip, not even to go to the gym. I mean, mascara will be your best friend. It's the end of the world, zombie apocalypse. I'll be running into CVS and grabbing every mascara. You can stop here. You're good to go with mascara and your brows and your bronzer and blush. But if you want to add extra definition to the eyes without, you know, trying too hard, you can just grab a dark eyeshadow and an angle brush and just line your eyes, top and bottom. This makes such a huge difference and you don't have the stress of using an eyeliner or a liquid liner or a gel liner, it's just powder, so it blends in very easily. In the bottom lashes, I take it all the way in, but you don't have to. You can check in the mirror and try, maybe just the outside corner works better for you, maybe just halfway in works better for you, just play with makeup. Now the look is pretty much done, but if you want a little extra, you can take a little bit of that bronzer and run it through your crease. Again, this is just going to create a little bit of shadow there, so it's more dimensional for the eyes and your eyes look more open. And number five, your own kind of lip. I rarely do anything for my lips. I'm not really much of a lip person. I can just walk out of the house like this, but I'll show you how it looks with a little color. I mean, this is really nude, but you can do a little bit more of a pop. It will look really pretty too. And you're pretty much done, but um, it's 2016, so we need that highlight. I love this one by Hourglass, it's really soft, I mean, I heard once that it was a setting powder, but I'm like, I don't know in what fairy world that is, because it's really shimmery, but it's soft. It gives you just that healthy glow. And that's it, you're done. So this is it, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video, I hope you learned something, I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And, 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 and. And that's it, I'll see you next time, bye bye. Ruby, Ruby.